Any way of changing Windows screen resolution via command line? I am using Microsoft's Live Mesh program to remotely access a PC running Windows 7, running on two screens, one with 1920x1080 and the other 1920x1200 resolution. I am accessing them via an old laptop with 1024x1078 resolution. The result is such tiny icons slash commands that it is difficult to try and change the screen resolution from two high res displays to the single low res display. It would be great if there was a command line way of doing this. Or perhaps there is way through Live Mesh to do it. Any ideas? Use cause then say. The NERCHEM D freeware tool can do this. To change the display to 1024 by 768 with a 24-bit color depth. NERCHEM D.exe set display 1024 768 24. NERCHEM D also has other very numerous functions. I found a Windows PowerShell script sample, provided by Microsoft TechNet, that is able to change the screen resolution. The best way to invoke it, I found, was from a separate PowerShell script, that looks like this. Note I had saved the Microsoft script as, said screenresolution.ps1. Then from the command line or start in GT, when you can invoke the second PowerShell script, which I named, invoke said screen resolution.ps1, like this. The no exit param is good at first for debugging, but you may want to remove it later on depending on whether you want the command window to close. Original source, no longer available. Wayback machine source. I use a combination of cas.x and sleep.x, put these in your Windows folder, in startup batch files to change resolution among two users. The actual script is as follows. Whereas the law is copy is, cas.x slash x column 800 slash y column 600. If you want your icons to stay where you want them, read on. You'll need two more downloads. Startup Delayer. Desktop Oc. Install Startup Delayer and place Desktop Oc wherever you like. I use my user folder. Organize your desktop, how you want it to be on every reboot. In Desktop Oc go to Options and tick Restore by Windows Startup. Right click on the newly made icon layout and click Use this for. Restore at Windows Startup. At this point you'll need to also check Start Desktop Hop with Windows. The later two options will be unchecked automatically by a Startup Delayer later on. Now locate Desktop Hop in Startup Delayer and right click Delay it. Now there's only one thing left to do, make your Startup Batch file. Thanks for being so flexible, Microsoft. Please connect to the Internet 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 Internet